G'day team, Pete checking in, um, this time with a very disappointing update. So um, I've ordered four of these um, Seagate Iron Wolf 12 terabyte hard drives. So I think it's the age old adage that if something's too good to be true, it probably is. So I purchased these on eBay, that's the seller there, for 280 bucks. So you can see that it's been a heap sold. Um, and pretty positive feedback so just for reference this is the seller now just by chance I'd purchase these to put into a new QNAP um, server NAS server which I'd bought never had one before um, and I found this guy's channel um, NAS compares he's been bloody brilliant that guy will show you through everything good for beginners and you know, people who aren't real computery like me. So just by chance, I saw this video that he had uh, on this video on his channel. So his channel's NAS Compares. And the video is titled Fake UC Gate I'm Wolf Hard Disk Drives Now Reported. How to check your drives. So if you scroll down, it's actually got his website link that will take you through to his web page where he's got a detailed article on how to check your hard drives. So for me, I followed these steps. Now, straight up, when I created an account with Seagate and then, you know, it asked you to put in this number here or scan the QR code, it doesn't, it was not recognized, but I created an account anyway and put in the serial number and it did not come up as this I'm Wolf Pro um, or I'm Wolf NAS, sorry. It came up as one of these bloody Skyhawk AIs. So that was, you know, setting alarm bells off. And then when I did go through and have a bit more of a look at them, what you could see is exactly what NAS Compares talks about. And they're all banged up. So you can see that... Um, like these foils have all got like marks on it. You can see that as I move back and forwards in the light. You can see those indents there. Same on this guy here. Same thing, you can see them. There's various little scuffs and marks on it. And then what I looked into, the actual SATA pins, you can see that they've been connected before. Like on those little gold connection points, you can see like rubbing and marks where they have been plugged in before. Might be a little bit more difficult to see on this video, but up close, you can see like wear marks on each of those pins. And you can clearly see, I hope that shows you enough detail just to give you an idea that that has been connected so I was pretty pissed off they turned up they looked um super legit they're in like an any static bag they're in like this um foam packaging with another bit of foam there cardboard boxes then in a massive ebay box so I put in an eBay complaint, you know, reporting them as fake, and then pff, probably within half an hour they went, yep, this seller accepted that straight away and sent return labels. They're going back to China. Um, so I definitely recommend be on guard for this seller here. Um, they are 100% used hard drives. And thank you so much to NAS Compares. I would not have known otherwise. I'm not a computer expert and I wouldn't have looked out for that. But apparently these have got like thousands and thousands of hours. And if you have a look through his actual detailed web page, he goes through all the details to step you through if you're new to this like me. And um, yeah, that's a really, really disappointing exercise. So I think because the seller accepted the return straight away, eBay doesn't have to step in. So when I do put the actual return in, get the funds, I'll actually report that seller hopefully too, but, you know, no doubt he's probably just going to start up another account. So this is in Australian dollars, so I paid $280, which is bloody half price what you'd pay from any of the big box sellers, and 
yeah, if the deal's too good to be true, chances are it is. So, yeah, super disappointing. Anyway, guys, just something to be mindful of. So it's happened to me and, um, yeah, really disappointed. All right, guys, well, um, yeah, just putting this up so hopefully you don't get stung by grubs like this old mate here. What a grub. And he's got heaps of stuff on there. Chances are all this is going to be fake and they're at ridiculously cheap, stupid prices, listing them as brand new. Um, and he lists them that they've only got one year's worth of warranty instead of the normal five. So you just think it's like old stock or whatever, but very near. So it's definitely not. Um, yeah, so pretty pissed off. But anyway, guys, Sharon, I hope this can help you. Um, for more details, go to the guru, Nas Compares, top bloke. His videos are all bloody brilliant. Um, and thanks to the Nas Compares for helping me find that. Righto team, have an awesome day.